Yo Ricardo, welcome to this video on 3D covalent networks. This video is on, well, the 3D covalent networks we need to know are diamond and silicon dioxide. Here are two um, diagrams of those 3D covalent networks. So this is silicon dioxide taken from ChemGuide, um, a, a UK website, and this is a, a diagram of uh, diamond. So if you look at this diagram of silicon dioxide here, um, silicon dioxide would be written as Si. SiO2, which indicates that for each silicon there are two oxygens, but as we can see, they're not discrete molecules. These are held together in a covalent network. So you would have one one silicon for every two oxygens, so that would be one silicon, two oxygens. This might be another one here, and then we can have another one here, for example. So it, it, it might be a little bit misleading if you just see it written like that when you don't know the actual structure of it. For this, this is just written as carbon. Um, and it's a solid because diamond is made up of purely carbon atoms. So each carbon atom um, has a tetrahedral arrangement to four other carbon atoms. So a common question that we would need to answer with um, 3D covalent networks is the type of substance. So if you've got silicon dioxide or diamond, and you have to say the type of substance is a covalent network. Um, the type of particle of covalent network, so we describe the type of particle as being the atoms. So the atoms themselves is, is the type of particle within covalent networks, so we just write atoms. And the attractive forces between, um, I haven't been as descriptive in the exam, I would say attractive forces between particles. Um, so between those atoms there are covalent bonds. Covalent bonds. So covalent bonds themselves are really strong. Um, so we would, uh, yeah, if we needed to describe the the structure and bonding of a 3D covalent network, we could say that silicon dioxide, or equally we can say diamond, are uh, covalent networks made of atoms um, covalently bonded in a 3D lattice. So that's how we would describe what we've just gone over here in Word. So we've got those silicon or diamond are made up of atoms covalently bonded together in a 3D lattice. That describes um, the structure and bonding of these um, covalent networks. So we, what we need to do is we need to use this knowledge of structure and bonding to be able to describe different properties for um, 3D covalent networks. So um, the first type of the first property we will look at is solubility. Uh, so covalent networks are not soluble, and this is because if we look back up at the diagram, um, if we were to have water molecules around these covalent networks, the, um, even though this is a polar molecule, the attraction between the oxygen or the hydrogen and the atoms in the covalent network are not strong enough to overcome the bonds within the network. So we would say that the, the, yeah, the, the attraction between the, the polar water molecules and the atoms that make up the covalent network are not strong enough to break the bond within the covalent network. So um, 3D Covalent networks are not soluble, so we would say solubility, no, and that's how we would describe it, as I just said before. Um, the next thing is hardness. So hardness, so because it's made up of those covalent bonds that are really strong, you would need to apply a large amount of force to be able to break those bonds. So we say that um, because, of the hard, because of the strength of the bonds, um, 3D covalent networks are hard, so we'd say yes, they are hard. Uh, yes, hard. Um, and the next thing we'll look at is malleability. So if we were to apply enough force, so hardness is kind of a measure of how much force you need to apply to be able to break the bonds. Malleability is if, if you do break the bonds, will the substance shatter or will it just change shape? And so if we were to apply enough force to be able to break the covalent bonds in a covalent network, 
because they are directional bonds, they will the bonds themselves will actually break, and so the substance will shatter. So we say that the um, covalent networks are not malleable because if we apply enough force to move a layer of atoms, the bonds holding the atoms together will break, and the, the substance will subsequently break. Um, and then finally, electrical conductivity. Electrical conductivity. So if we look at the atoms within um, within the, the covalent network, all of the atoms, all of the, the free electrons from the atoms are bonded um, within these covalent bonds. So they're localized within the bonds or they are pairs of electrons around the atom. They're localized around the atom. So there are no delocalized electrons and there are no ions in this particle either or in this um, substance. So because there are no... Um, charged particles free to move within a 3D covalent network, there is no electrical conductivity for them. So that is how we would um, describe the structure and bonding of 3D covalent networks and the properties of them. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more Chemistry 2.4 videos. Thanks.